A quick turnaround for the Quinnipiac men's ice hockey team against Maine again today. The result was different, a 4-3 win for the Bobcats. I'm Patrick Flatley alongside with Stephen Pappas. This is The Rebound, presented by Q30 Sports. The penalty kill was a problem for the Bobcats yesterday, but they bounced back today with a good kill. Pappas, take us through the penalty kill today. Yeah, they gave up a 1-5 on 3 goal, but I think the real turning point of this game was the fact that after that 5 on 3 goal, that was on, on part of a five-minute major penalty to Desi Burgard. They gave up that goal 45 or 15 seconds, excuse me, into that five-minute penalty. And then they went the next four minutes and 45 seconds and killed off the rest of that penalty. That was a huge momentum shifter. And last night, we didn't see a very much uh, uh, of a positive from that penalty kill this season. They were six for nine coming into this game. 66%, that's not something a Rand Pegnall team wants out of their penalty kill. So to come in, you know you're struggling on the penalty kill, go down for five minutes and then be able to kill off a four minute and 45 minute, uh, second power play, that's pretty good for, uh, in my eyes for, for a penalty kill that's been struggling. Definitely. A couple big blocks on the penalty kill, including one by Wyatt Bongiovanni. What has he been able to bring to the Bobcats this season? So yeah, far? and you mentioned it. He's got three goals in the season in four games. It's not just goal scoring that Bongiovanni brings to this team. It's toughness, it's grit, it's determination. I mean, blocking that shot at the end of the game to, to really help this team seal that victory was huge. And then obviously coming down and scoring that goal right off the draw. He's been able to score in so many ways. That quick snapshot that he showed today. And then on the power play, he's had those goals where he's just let it loose. And, you know, Bon Giovanni, is, he, had a very good, uh, he had a very good freshman season. And we heard Rand Pecknold say it earlier in this game, he's had, or earlier in the press conference, that he's had a very good spring, he had a very good fall, and he had a very good uh, summer uh, of work. So this is a guy that is primed for an explosion this season. We saw a shaky start for Keith Petrozelli in this game, letting a goal on the first shot of the game for Maine. But he bounced back again like the Bobcats did in this game with the quality start, I would say, for the rest of the game. Take us through that. Yeah, last Saturday was the same thing. Petrozelli came out, gave up two goals early at AIC, seemed to not be phased by it. And today he wasn't phased by it either. The first goal was a shot that he would love to have back. Uh, that was a goal that, that is almost inexcusable from, from a Keith Petrozelli's perspective. But then he was able to bear down the rest of that game and, and really keep his team in this game. They got the three goals, which helped. But then that one goal in the five on three penalty, and then just a really good shot at the end of that game. So, I mean, Keith Petrozelli, he's had a, a really good season to this point. The numbers might not be there, but he's been able to keep his team in games. And last night, was, it was an anomaly. It was a bad game for Petrozelli. It was a bad game for the team. But for, for what he's done this season, I think Petrozelli has been better than people have expected him to be. The Bobcats will look to keep this momentum going next Sunday at 3 p.m. against Vermont at home. For Stephen Pappas, I'm Patrick Flatley. This has been The Rebound.